It tunes in to the empty landscape. The noise of wind and snowfall is filtered out. It's rustling that the owl is interested in. A false alarm. But it doesn't have to wait long. From deep under the snow, a lemming transmits a high-frequency rustle. And around here, the penalty for rustling is death. The signals are too weak for our hearing, but this owl has the ultimate amplifier. Its face acts like a satellite dish. The dish is formed by a ring of stiff feathers. They collect and channel sound inwards. The eyes look central, but the dish actually focuses on the ears. They are on the side of the tiny skull next to the eyes. The dish is divided by a line of bristles, giving stereo sound. It's like having a giant cupped hand behind each ear. To pinpoint the lemming, the owl must tune its receiver. The dish is moved, the eyes automatically follow. Too far, then back again. The lemming is now being totally reckless. Sound dish and eyes are now focused. From this point on, it won't look away until the lemming is in its talons. The sortie begins. The owl's approach is absolutely silent. Soft, velvety feathers have serrated edges that simply caress the air. As a result, no wing flaps interfere with the lemming's transmission. The head remains focused at all times, even if it has to fly around obstacles. Beneath a carpet of snow, a stationary target is easy to hit. But it's not just a simple dive bomb attack. The head stays locked on until the last moment. Then the talons are raised into the line of the sound. Claws on each talon are extended, two above and two below. Perfect for catching cylindrical prey. The lemming's number is up. Even if the lemming is moving, the owl can compensate. The owl hovers. It checks signal direction. The body twists and the talons are repositioned. When you're dealing with senses this sharp and specialised, physical defences like snow can be useless. <laughs> 